Good evening, gentlemen. We've changed our venue so you didn't have to sit on the wet ground at the amphitheater, okay? So that's why we're here. Today, your class is going to do a flag retirement ceremony. I'm now going to turn it over to Commander Quentin Franklin, today's Honor Guard Commander. Quentin? We wish to present an unserviceable flag of our country for inspection and disposal. Sergeant at Arms, advance with your detail and present the flags for inspection and disposal. Detail, attention! Detail, post! Commander, we have the honor to present for final inspection and proper honorable disposal of this flag of our country. Is the present condition of this flag the result of its usual service as the emblem of our country? This flag has become faded and worn over time as it honored our past and present soldiers, Marines, sailors, Coast Guard, airmen, and guardians of our nation's wars. This flag has also been displayed over the American Legion Department of West Virginia Headquarters, which honors our West Virginia Legionnaires and veterans. Has this flag been inspected by the first and second vice commander? This flag has been inspected by the appropriate individuals since this flag has become unserviceable and a worthy cause. It has become faded and worn in a tribute of service and love. It is recommended this flag be honorably retired from further service. We request your final inspection and approval for honorable disposal. We have present this flag of our country, which has been inspected and judged as unserviceable. It has reached its present state in a proper service of tribute, memory, and love. A flag may be a flimsy bit of printed gauze or a beautiful banner of finest silk. Its intrinsic value may be trifling or great, but its real value is beyond price. For it is a precious symbol of all that we have, all that we and our comrades have worked, lived, and died for. A free nation of free men and women. True to the faith of the path devoted to the ideals and practices of justices, freedom, and democracy. Let the stated flag of our country be retired with respect and honorable rights, and its place be taken by the bright new flag of the same size and kind. So our soldiers, sailors, Marines, Coast Guard, airmen, and guardians, as well as our country, may be honored. Sergeant at Arms, assemble the color guard, escort your detail bearing the flags to be destroyed and destroyed by burning. Will the chaplain, the chaplain will offer prayer. Please stand and bow your heads in prayer. Almighty God, captain of all hosts and commander over all, bless us, bless and consecrate the present hour. We thank you and our country and its flag and the liberty for which it stands. To a clean and purging flame, we commit this flag worn out in worthy service as it yields its substance to the fire, may your holy light spread over us and bring us, bring our hearts renewed devotion to you, our God and country. Amen. Amen. Amen.
ordered arms. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you for your attention. How do you think you guys did? Pretty good, huh? We're going to honor someone, some other folks right now. You guys can sit down, please, if you'd like. This is called Boys State. But if you notice, we have quite a few ladies that are helping make sure you get through this week. And without these ladies, we would not get through this week. So, first I'd like to honor a few of our lady veterans. First, Mrs. Sonia Atkins, United States Army. <laughs> Miss Brooke Russell, United States Army. Miss Ashley Talbot, is she here? Okay, she works in the legal, as a legal advisor. <laughs> Miss Robin Shingleton, <laughs> United States Air Force. And Miss Renee, uh, Raina Stevens. United States Air Force, sorry. These are our lady veterans helping you get through the week. We have a few more that we want to mention while we're here. Uh, Although these ladies weren't in military service, they're here serving today, serving you. So I'd like to first honor Miss Marie Burley. <laughs> Miss Cindy Hall. Miss Leslie Wood. Miss Beth Hall. Nurse Debbie Ho. Miss Rebecca Koshis. Rebecca, she come up? She didn't come up? Okay. Miss Rebecca Young. Miss Harley Benda. Yep. And this next lady's not here. She was here for registration, Miss Trish Cash. And the last is Miss Misty Morgan. She's in the back. We owe these ladies quite a bit. Because without them, we could not get through this week. It would be harder for you all to get through this week, that's for sure. <laughs> so thank you for all your comments and your attention. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you very much. You. That concludes our ceremony. You can now head back in your uh, formations to the assembly hall. Thank you for your attention, gentlemen.
You can put him at parade rest. Go ahead. For order arms. Okay, put him down. Hooray, 